Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to squeeze a little bit more performance out of your NVIDIA graphics cards. Now, whether it is something which is uh, pretty powerful anyway, or is something from a couple of generations back, or is basically beyond redemption, potentially you can still squeeze a few FPS out of these cards, and more importantly, get a smoother gaming experience with better 0.1 and 1% lows which is basically what it gives you that feeling of it being slick or smooth. If you've got terrible 1% lows, then generally it just feels like trash, even if you've got great FPS. So one of the ways to do that is to remove some of the telemetry and bulk bloatware, which is included in the NVIDIA drivers these days. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove a large majority of that, but yet still have an excellent gaming experience with a piece of software called NV Slimmer. So without further ado, let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. So the first part of this is we're gonna go and get NV Slimmer. So you can get it from various places, Guru 3D, Major Geeks, etc. cetera. Uh, I'm a big fan of the geek, so let's head over to the Major Geek website. And you've got the options here to download. So it is a freeware piece of software and very small size, less than a megabyte in size. So let's click on download. And after a short while, you should get the Save As dialog box. So for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna save this to our Windows desktop, but you can save it wherever you feel appropriate. So we're gonna click on Save. So that is that section done. Also, it is actually worth mentioning, if you're doing this on a clean Windows installation, then you can do this without having to use something like DDU to clean up your drivers to kind of prepare the system. But if you wanna be very, very meticulous and get rid of all your existing drivers as well, then you could do a lot worse than get the software called DDU. So let's go ahead and get that. And Display Driver Uninstaller, or DDU, is available in various places. Uh, Guru 3D is a good a place as any. So you can just click on the download mirror wherever you want to. We're in the UK, so the EU mirror is probably a little bit faster. So we'll download that. And again, we'll save this to our Windows desktop. And the next part is we'll actually need the latest drivers for our graphics card anyway. So let's go ahead and get those. So you can use the uh, manual search if you want to. So I can RTX 4080, actually 4070 in this particular instance, but they're all kind of pretty much the same. And just look for the desktop version. Yeah, that'll do, that's fine. And choose your language if appropriate and your Windows version. Hopefully you're on Windows 11 and just click on find and it'll go ahead and find the latest driver. And if you're a gamer, then I was just using the game ready drivers. If you're watching this, then chances are you are. If you want to do the studio drivers, you can do, it makes no real difference. Essentially, they're very, very similar anyway. So the latest version for us here is this version here from October the 14th. Today's recording date is the 21st. So a week old, exactly. So yeah, we can uh, download this one and click on download and then save that to the desktop. As you can see, I've already saved this earlier on to save time, So, but you would just save it to your location of choice. So we cancel that. And now we can close down all of these windows. And the first one we're gonna to wanna to do is if this is an existing setup, so you've been running your system, been playing games and whatever, and it's absolutely fine other than your 1% low suck, then we are gonna to wanna to do the DDU part of this. So find our DDU folder and we're gonna extract it and just follow the instructions there, extract. You'll also find inside of the extracted folder, there's also another executable, which also needs extracting, which is a real pain in the ass. I don't know why they bother doing that, but there you go. So then you get a folder, and inside the folder, you can then find the display driver uninstaller executable file. So right click on this and choose run as administrator. And it says updates are available. Do you want to visit the DDU website now? Uh, entirely up to you. I hate the DDU website, so I generally don't because it's, well, I'm not going to say it, but there's links on there which I don't like. Anyway, so it says there about the first time you've launched DDU, usual things apply, make a backup, etc. read the terms and conditions. Uh, we're not responsible for any damage to your system or data loss, etc. etc. You get the general idea. So just click on OK and you get the general options. Now you can basically leave this exactly as it is. The choice is entirely up to you if you wanna leave it like that. Um, the general normal settings are absolutely fine. So just click on close. And it says if you're not in safe mode, it is better to do it in safe mode, but you don't have to. The choice is yours, I'm lazy, I'm not gonna bother. So I'm just gonna run it in Windows mode. And for this instance, 
obviously if you want to, if you've had previous graphics cards in here, such as an Intel one or an AMD one, then you can run the cleanup ones for that as well. Um, I'm actually gonna do all of them. So we'll go to GPU, we'll get rid of our AMD drivers. So we'll do clean and do not restart. And I would suggest you do this anyway, just as a matter of course, it probably makes sense. Although if you have got a graphics processor built into your processor, as we do on most modern AM5 units at the moment, and some are older AM4s if you've got an APU, then obviously if you're using the onboard graphics, then don't disable them or don't remove the drivers. The choice is yours. Generally, I say if you've got a discrete graphics card, i.e. one that you physically installed yourself, a physical graphics card, then I would generally disable the onboard one anyway, just to save conflicts. But again, that's entirely up to you. So yeah, it says they're cleaning the registry keys. This may take a minute or two, so just let it do its thing. And when it's finished, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to this options box here, and then we're gonna choose Intel, do exactly the same thing, and then we're gonna do the same for Nvidia last. And there we go, it says the clean has completed. Would you like to exit now? No, we don't, we've still got work to do. So now I'm gonna choose Intel as well. I don't think I've had an Intel graphics card in here, but best to clear it out anyway. So again, we'll do clean and do not restart. And there we go, so Intel is done, that's clean. So do we want to exit? No, we don't, we still don't. And the last one is the NVIDIA. Now, of course, if you want to, you can just do all GPUs, but I wanted to show you basically going through individually. So maybe if you've got onboard graphics from either Intel processor or AMD processor, then obviously you can do the selection individually. If you wanted to do it all quicker, you can just do all GPUs. Again, the choice is entirely up to you. Uh, all GPUs obviously is gonna be faster. So anyway, the last one we're gonna do is NVIDIA. And this time we are gonna do clean and do not restart because there's something we wanna do before that happens because we're gonna to wanna to disconnect our ethernet or our internet so it doesn't accidentally download drivers in the background. There is actually an option, I believe in here, where it says, there we go, uh, prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update or Windows when searching for a new device or driver. Now I sometimes find this actually causes other problems further down the road. Um, it says there are change at your own risk. I don't like using that personally. I'd rather do the physical method of removing the actual plug from our ethernet or just turning off the Wi-Fi. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. So we're gonna clean the Nvidia one next. And before I click on that, I'm actually gonna unplug the ethernet from the back of the computer. And there we go. And I think our Wi-Fi is disabled. Yeah, I'll turn the Bluetooth off as well. So that is all done. So now we can do, um, actually let's do clean and restart. You can do clean and do not restart. Again, it's up to you. I'm gonna do clean and restart. Again, it's gonna make a system restore point. Just let it do its thing and we'll come back when it's restarted. So now Windows has rebooted and all the services have stopped. So we're ready to run. So we've got our NV slimmer here, our folder, which is zipped. So we need to do extract all and we'll extract it to our desktop. You can extract it elsewhere if you want to, to keep it for kind of later use. That is entirely up to you. And inside that folder, see so NV slimmer V013. You've now got our NV slimmer EXE. So we can right click on it and choose run as administrator. You'll get the smart screen come up because obviously we're not connected to the internet still. So it doesn't know what the hell this file is. So we're just gonna choose run. It's absolutely safe, so no problems there. And it's gonna ask you to load your NVIDIA driver package. So we downloaded it earlier and it's on our Windows desktop. Obviously just choose the location you've chosen, might be your downloads folder or whatever. So choose the latest NVIDIA driver, which you've downloaded from the official NVIDIA websites. And when you're ready, click on open. And it says there, information, this folder will be saved. So. Yeah, next time it opens, it will look for the same place. We've also got a warning saying one or more unrecognized folders were detected. Please review them before installing. So what this is, because the way that the new NVIDIA drivers are, or how they're set up, there's some new bits and pieces in there, which uh, it basically doesn't recognize. But it's not a problem, because it still works in the same way. So essentially what you've got here, this is a list of all the items which are inside the driver. And the ones that you only really want are the core display driver, which is required, and the installation core, which is required. Now, PhysX, that is kind of up to you regardless. Uh, HD audio, obviously, if you're using the NVIDIA audio solution, you should check that as well. So maybe have all of those. If you're using a graphics card which has a USB Type-C 
port on the back when you're driving a USB-C monitor or something, then clearly you would need to have that as well. But don't worry, you can add or remove these later on if you wanted to. Those are entirely up to you. So again, if you're using things like NVIDIA Shadow Play, then maybe you want to use that. I found Shadow Play to be awful these days, and I much prefer OBS, but again, it's entirely up to you. You also got all the usual stuff here, NV containers. The telemetry is obviously the one you don't want because that's the one which actually causes a lot of the hitches whilst pl playing. But all this stuff accumulates into being like quite a lot of processes, a whole bunch of them that are running when Windows starts up. So yeah, it does slow down your system and potentially your games as well, as we've found. So these are the unknown ones. So we've got the NVIDIA app and the message bus and the NVIDIA control panel and also uh, whatever that is, I'm not sure, some sort of download engine that goes in the background. So I would suggest for those people that have more than one monitor or you have a G-Sync compatible monitor and you wish to use that part of the driver, then do use the NV control panel, so the NVIDIA control panel. That is an extremely lightweight tool which normally comes up when you right click on your desktop and go into display properties and you can choose to do things specifically in the NVIDIA driver, such as frame limit capping, that sort of thing, um, screen movements, rotations, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to have that, and I would suggest it's probably a good idea to do anyway, so put in the NVIDIA control panel. But other than that, I would leave all the other stuff out, and essentially the main one is telemetry. Now, obviously, if you want to, you can still install things like the NVIDIA app. If you want to, that's entirely up to you, but it's another resource hog, so... Whether you decide to, that is essentially up to you. But like I said, you can keep on going into this NV Slimmer and modifying your settings and changing it. So you can get it to basically work how it works best for you. Everyone is going to be slightly different. But for me, I think this is going to be the uh, the kind of the core thing I'm going to do. So when you're ready, click on Apply. And it'll say this will delete any modules that were not selected. Do you want to continue? Yep, yeah, we're happy. So we'll click on Yes. And then it gives you the option to install the driver. So if you want to go ahead and install these particular five items, which is uh, significantly reduced, you can just click on yes. So we'll install the driver. And now it's going to go through the normal installation routine. So you, you have to agree to the license. That is still a thing. And you've got the options for express or custom. If you go into custom and choose next, it's basically the same as what we've already selected, so all the other stuff's been weeded out. Also, for those of you who don't want to go through the hassle of using DDU, you can choose the option for a clean installation as well. So this will restore all of the NVIDIA settings to the default values and remove profiles, etc., from previous drivers, but that only applies to NVIDIA graphics cards. If you've had a previous NVIDIA graphics card or a previous NVIDIA installation, it will not remove drivers from Intel or AMD. So just wanted to uh, make you aware of that. So let's go back to that, we'll agree, and we'll just do Express, and click on Next. And now it's going to install the very minimal driver set which is required for gaming, and that is all. So we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so now we've come up with the install is complete, so that's great. So we can click on Close, and installation has finished, so that's the information from NV Slimmer. So with this now, if you want to, you can keep this installed on your system. That is entirely up to you. Or if you want to, you can go ahead and just delete the whole darn lot of it, like I'm doing now. And you can download it all again the next time you want to update the drivers. That is entirely up to you, whatever you see fit. Or if you want to keep NV Slimmer on your system and every now and then just check for updated drivers, you can do. Again, those choices are yours. You have the options. You don't have to have the new driver updates rammed down your throat every time you load up your system. So there we go, there is how to squeeze a few more FPS and much better 1% and 0.1% loads out of your system. Now, if you're looking for any kind of proof of this, the proof is going to be in the pudding. Now, I've been running this on just canned benchmarks, such as Firestrike and also uh, Steel Nomad, and seen some pretty decent improvements on that. But what I did notice, although the numbers look good or better, it looks and feels smoother. And also when it comes to gaming, gaming is a really hard one to do. I have done some gameplay with Fortnite and it's one of those games, obviously every map is pretty different because there's different people playing, different locations on the map, etc. It's really hard to do a one for one, but certainly the FPS does look slightly higher and also the 1% lows and those kind of stutters that you get in some areas 
are almost completely eradicated. So if you're an online gamer and you want to get the best performance, I think a lot of this comes down to the telemetry because when you're in the middle of a game, say you've been playing for, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour, at some point Nvidia says, right, let's find out what's going on. And it does like a little burst of telemetry data. And it seems those little bursts of data seem to interrupt the data flow for the graphics card because it's trying to do two things, I guess. And it seems to slow down your system. So you get unexpected slowdowns. Now, if you turn the telemetry off using NV Slimmer or any of the other methods which are available, it is going to give you a smoother overall gameplay experience, which I think is great. And if you're spending, I don't know, four or 500 pounds on a graphics card, why leave some of the FPS on the table? You want your money's worth, surely. Or maybe if you've got a slightly more inexpensive graphics card and you just want to give it a little bit more longevity and squeeze a little bit more FPS out of it, make it a little bit better for some of your older games, then I think this is actually a really good thing to do. But let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below. Be interested to hear what your thoughts are. But I think that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.